Transjordan, the East Bank, or the Transjordanian Highlands Arabic, Shirk al is the part of the southern Levant east of the Jordan River, mostly contained in present-day Jordan. The region, known as Transjordan, was controlled by numerous powers throughout history. During the early modern era, the region of Transjordan was included under jurisdiction of Ottoman Syrian provinces. During World War I, Transjordan region was taken by the British, who had temporarily included it in OETA. Initially, the area was directly governed by the British, who decided to divide Transjordan region into three administrative districts, Ijloon, Balka and Karak, with only Ma'an and Tabak granted under direct rule of the Hashemites, however shortly the Hashemite ruler Abdullah was granted nominal rule over all districts. Central government was established in Transjordan in 1921 and in 1922 the region became known as the Emirate of Transjordan, receiving full autonomy in 1929. In 1946, the Emirate achieved independence from the British and in 1952 the country changed its name to the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. Name The prefix trans is Latin and means across or beyond, and so transjordan refers to the land on the other side of the Jordan River. The equivalent term for the west side is the Cisjordan, literally, on this side of the river Jordan. The Tanakh's Hebrew, Beaber Hayarid and Mizra Hussein's translate, Beaver Hayar den Mizra Hash Shi Mesh, lit. Single quote, beyond the Jordan towards the sunrise, is translated in the Septuagint to ancient Greek, Perin to Yordanu translate, translate, Perin to Jordano, lit. Single quote. Beyond the Jordan, which was then translated to Latin, Transjordanon, lit. Single quote. Beyond the Jordan, in the Vulgate Bible. However, some authors give the Hebrew, Ber Hirdan translate, Ever Hayarden, lit. Single quote. Beyond the Jordan, as the basis for Transjordan, which is also the modern Hebrew usage. Whereas the term east, as in, towards the sunrise, is used in Arabic, Shirk al translate. Shark al Urdan, lit. Single quote. East of the Jordan. History Egyptian period The Shasu were Semitic speaking cattle nomads in the Levant from the Late Bronze Age to the Early Iron Age. In a 15th century BCE list of enemies inscribed on column bases at the Temple of Celeb built by Amenhotep III, six groups of Shasu are noted the Shasu of S. R. R., the Shasu of Rbn, the Shasu of Sm. T., the Shasu of Wrbr, the Shasu of Yhw, and the Shasu of Pispes. Some scholars link the Israelites and the worship of a deity named Yahweh with the Shasu. The Egyptian geographical term Retgenu is traditionally identified as an area covering Sinai and Canaan south of Lebanon, with the regions of Amoru and Apu to the north. And as such, parts of Canaan and southwestern Syria became tributary to the Egyptian pharaohs in the early Late Bronze Age. When Canaanite confederacies centered on Megiddo and Kadesh, came under the control of the Egyptian Empire. However, the empire's control was sporadic, and not strong enough to prevent frequent local rebellions and intercity conflict. The Transjordanian tribes The Book of Numbers chapter 32 tells how the tribes of Reuben and Gad came to Moses to ask if they could settle in the Transjordan. Moses is dubious, but the two tribes promise to join in the conquest of the land, and so Moses grants them this region to live in. The half-tribe of Manasseh are not mentioned until verse 33. David Jobling suggests that this is because Manasseh settled, in land which previously belonged to Og, north of the Jabbok, while Reuben and Gad settled Sihon's land, which lay south of the Jabbok. Since Og's territory was not on the route to Canaan, it was more naturally part of the promised land. And so the Manassites' status is less problematic than that of the Reubenites or Gadites. In the book of Joshua, 1, Joshua affirms Moses's decision, and urges the men of the two and a half tribes to help in the conquest, which they are willing to do. 
In Joshua chapter 22, the Transjordanian tribes return, and build a massive altar by the Jordan. This causes the whole congregation of the Israelites to prepare for war, but they first send a delegation to the Transjordanian tribes, accusing them of making God angry and suggesting that their land may be unclean. In response to this, the Transjordanian tribes say that the altar is not for offerings, but is only a witness. The western tribes are satisfied, and return home. Assis argues that the unusual dimensions of the altar suggest that it was not meant for sacrificial use, but was, in fact, meant to attract the attention of the other tribes, and provoke a reaction. For the settlement of the Israelite tribes east of the Jordan, Burton MacDonald notes, there are various traditions behind the books of Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, and 1 Chronicles assignment of tribal territories and towns to Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. Some of these traditions provide only an idealized picture of Israelite possessions east of the Jordan, others are no more than vague generalizations. Num 21.21-35, for example, says only that the land the people occupied extended from Wadi Arnon to Wadi Jabbok, the boundary of the Amorites. Topic. Status Topic. There is some ambiguity about the status of the Transjordan in the mind of the biblical writers. Horst Seabass argues that in Numbers, one finds awareness of Transjordan as being holy to YHWH. He argues for this on the basis of the presence of the cities of refuge there, and because land taken in a holy war is always holy. Richard Hess, on the other hand, asserts that the Transjordanian tribes were not in the land of promise. Moshe Weinfeld argues that in the book of Joshua, the Jordan is portrayed as a barrier to the promised land. But in Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 7 and 11 24, the Transjordan is an integral part of the promised land. Unlike the other tribal allotments, the Transjordanian territory was not divided by lot. Jacob Milgram suggests that it is assigned by Moses rather than by God. Lori Rollett argues that in the book of Joshua, the Transjordanian tribes function as the inverse of the Gibeonites mentioned in Joshua chapter 9. Whereas the former have the right ethnicity, but wrong geographical location, the latter have the wrong ethnicity, but are within the boundary of the pure geographical location. Other Transjordanian nations Topic. According to Genesis, 1937-38, Ammon and Moab were born to Lot and Lot's younger and elder daughters, respectively, in the aftermath of the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. The Bible refers to both the Ammonites and Moabites as the children of Lot. Throughout the Bible, the Ammonites and Israelites are portrayed as mutual antagonists. During the Exodus, the Israelites were prohibited by the Ammonites from passing through their lands Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 4. In the Book of Judges, the Ammonites work with Eglon, king of the Moabites against Israel. Attacks by the Ammonites on Israelite communities east of the Jordan were the impetus behind the unification of the tribes under Saul 1 Samuel chapter 11 verses 1 to 15. According to both Books of Kings 1421 and Books of Chronicles 1213, Nama was an Ammonite. She was the only wife of King Solomon to be mentioned by name in the Tanakh as having born a child. She was the mother of Solomon. As successor, Rehoboam, the Ammonites presented a serious problem to the Pharisees because many marriages with Ammonite and Moabite wives had taken place in the days of Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 23. The men had married women of the various nations without conversion, which made the children not Jewish. The legitimacy of David's claim to royalty was disputed on account of his descent from Ruth the Moabite. King David spent time in the Transjordan after he had fled from the rebellion of his son Absalom 2 Samuel chapters 17 to 19. Topic: <laughs> Bronze Age collapse. Topic. During the Late Bronze Age collapse the Amorites of Syria disappeared after being displaced or absorbed by a new wave of semi-nomadic West Semitic-speaking peoples known collectively as the Alamu. Over time, the Arameans emerged as the dominant tribe amongst the Alamu, with the destruction of the Hittites and the decline of Assyria in the late 11th century BCE, they gained control over much of Syria and Transjordan. 
The regions they inhabited became known as Aram Aramea and Eber Nari. Classic period the Decapolis is named from its ten cities enumerated by Pliny the Elder. It should be noted, that what Pliny calls Decapolis, Ptolemy calls Coel Syria. Ptolemy does not use the term, Transjordan, but rather the periphrasis, across the Jordan, and he enumerates the cities, Cosmos, Libyas, Calerho, Gazorus, Epicaros, as being in this district, East of the Jordan, that Josephus et al. called Perea, Jerash was a prominent central community for the surrounding region during the Neolithic period and was also inhabited during the Bronze Age. Ancient Greek inscriptions from the city, and the literary works of Iamblichus and the Etymologicum Magnum indicate that the city was founded as Gerasa by Alexander the Great or his general Perdiccas, for the purpose of settling retired Macedonian soldiers Geras Geras means old age. In ancient Greek, it was a city of the Decapolis, and is one of the most important and best preserved ancient Roman cities in the Near East. The Nabataeans' trading network, was centered on strings of oases that they controlled. The Nabataean kingdom in the reign of Aretas III BCE reached its territorial zenith encompassing territory of modern Jordan, Syria, Saudi Arabia, Egypt and Israel. Basra is located in a geographical area called the Horan Plateau. The soil of this volcanic plateau made it a fertile region for the cultivation of domesticated cereals during the Neolithic Agricultural Revolution. The city was noted in Egyptian documents of the 14th century BCE, and was situated on the trade routes where caravans brought spices from India and the Far East across the eastern desert while other caravans brought myrrh and frankincense from the south. The region of Horan then called Oranitis, came under the control of the Nabataean Kingdom and the city of Basra then called Bostra, became the northern capital of the kingdom while its southern capital was Petra. After Pompey's military conquest of Syria, Judea, and Transjordan, control of the city was later transferred to Herod the Great and his heirs until 106 CE, when Basra was incorporated into the new Roman province of Arabia Petraea. The Herodian Kingdom of Judea was a client state of the Roman Republic from 37 BCE, and included Samaria and Perea. And when Herod died in 4 BCE, the kingdom was divided among his sons into the Herodian Tetrarchy. Provincia Arabia Petraea or simply Arabia, was a frontier province of the Roman Empire beginning in the 2nd century. It consisted of the former Nabataean Kingdom in the southern Levant, Sinai Peninsula, and northwestern Arabian Peninsula. Topic. Kingdom of Jerusalem Crusaders period Topic. The Lordship of Ultrajordane Old French for Beyond the Jordan, also called the Lordship of Montreal, otherwise Transjordan. Topic. Trade routes Topic. Roman roads Via Maris Via Traiana Nova Petra Roman Road The King's Highway was a trade route of vital importance to the ancient Near East. It began in Egypt and stretched across the Sinai Peninsula to Aqaba. From there it turned northward across Transjordan, leading to Damascus and the Euphrates River. During the Roman period the road was called Via Regia Orient. Emperor Trajan rebuilt and renamed it Via Traiana Nova viz. Via Traiana Roma, under which name it served as a military and trade road along the fortified Limes Arabicus. The incense route comprised a network of major ancient land and sea trading routes linking the Mediterranean world with eastern and southern sources of incense, spices and other luxury goods, stretching from Mediterranean ports across the Levant and Egypt through northeastern Africa and Arabia to India and beyond. The incense land trade from South Arabia to the Mediterranean flourished between roughly the 7th century BCE to the 2nd century CE. Topic: Maps. Topic: BCE, CE, Trade routes, Egyptian Empire, Transjordan Kingdoms 830 BCE. Persian period and Diadochi period Hellenistic period Roman Orient Roman Empire 
See also Topic Transjordan in the Bible, an area of land in the southern Levant lying east of the Jordan River that is mentioned in the Hebrew Bible Perea region Ultrajordane Emirate of Transjordan Transjordan Memorandum Geography of Jordan The East Bank of the Jordan Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic.